Good day to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. And today we will touch a topic of how to learn English in Poland and what is the level of teaching English in Poland. With us in the studio is an expert in this field, uh, Jacob Konjelski, a graduate of Warsaw University. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for inviting me. And uh, you have uh, graduated from the English studies at the University of Warsaw, so you know very well, and I would say from my personal experience especially, how is English language taught uh, at Warsaw University here uh, in, the, in at the studies of English literature. So tell us a little bit, uh, what's the approach and uh, what, all, or what also are the results? Well, uh, that depends on the students, of course, what are the results, but the approach is essentially studies are divided into the linguistic part and then the culture, culture and literature part. So in terms of linguistics, you have uh, theoretical linguistics, so everything that has to do with the history of English language, the uh, how particular sounds have developed, how the language has developed, its origins, how it looks now. So uh, everything what a common uh, native speaker doesn't know. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, y you are... The thing about when we came to the to the to, uh, to the our world. studies, <laughs> you know, when we came to our studies, they told us uh, you're going to learn about English in English. So uh, our l level of knowledge is something different from a native speaker, uh, because well, a native speaker speaks while we you know learn about how how to speak. So so we have this linguistic part, and it's uh, all of the terrible, terrible things that they teach you. Uh, it was uh, my least favorite part. Uh, then you have practical linguistics, which, for example, are translations, uh, you know, from literature translation uh, through something more functional, like, for example, economic translations or uh, um, translation of various texts of law. And then the cultural part. When you enter the studies, uh, is it expected from you already a certain level of English? Yes, definitely. You need to, well, it's of course, uh, you know, uh, checked by our national matura exam. So, so uh, A-levels, yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. Although, I, like I said, the, the professors are aware that it's not a language school. It's a school about language and about English. So, of course, you exit with a certain level uh, of, of English language, uh, and, but, you know, it's their job to kind of push you towards, towards that level. Uh, but rather more about knowing about English rather than speaking it perfectly, let's say. And what is the biggest weakness when it comes to, uh, to the studies? Well, I think uh, because the Anglo-Saxon world is so big, it's so vast, it's ubiquitous, it's everywhere. So you could get immense in that world and kind of forgot about other, you know, elements of, of culture. For me personally, and I think for many of my colleagues, you, you could forget a little bit about the Polish side of the world and, and about Polish culture. So you... Oh, I see. So you can just... <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, you know, you, you read Dickens, you read, uh, you know, Shakespeare, you read all of those uh, the metaphysical poets, and you kind of lack the time to maybe go back to, to a couple of uh, mandatory readings that were at school. Uh, you miss the newest uh, book, uh, and uh, because you're kind of focusing yourself on the English uh, sphere of culture. So it takes, it takes an effort for you to let's say, keep in touch with your roots when you're studying a foreign But on the culture. other hand, it's, I would say, the advantage of uh, students who have Polish roots <laughs> to be, uh, I would say, flexible or to yes. be, to know both, because if you only know the, uh, the English part, then I would say you are still no challenge for people who are usually no challenge for people who are native speakers, but, are, but on the other hand, you forget of course. your own <laughs> <laughs> of course, well, that's the biggest, um, it's, it's the root of translations, right? So uh, when you translate, you are sort of a bridge between two languages, a bridge between two cultures. So, of course, you need to know the, the foreign culture, you know, perfectly, excellently. But if you forget about the source language, it will be a, a challenge for you to, to translate. That's why one of the best translators uh, are poets, because they know 
for example, uh, Yulia Tuvim, she, she translated many poems because she knew both English and Polish, you know, expertly, and she could play around with the language. Well, we'll put a point here, and to all of you, if you are interested in studying English language here in Warsaw, then definitely uh, remember about the biggest advantage which you have is actually the knowledge of Polish, which is one of the most difficult languages in the world, and then also the knowledge of English. So that's what we recommend uh, from this interview. And of course, stay with us because we'll dig in into the topic. Thank you for watching Poland Daily.